guys how you doing today how are you thinking the topic today is think big the bigger you think the bigger you are you see you are attracting your future to yourself every day by the way you think there is a time in my life I will just look at everything around me I will know that this is not me I am bigger than this I am smarter than this my space is bigger, my car is bigger, my friends are intelligent. You know, you begin to think big. I love the book, Think and Grow Rich, because this book has changed many lives, including mine. See, we are all limited most of the time, not by anything, not by external forces, but by the way we think. Where do you see yourself? Who do you want to be? You know, there's a scripture in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 7 and verse 9 that says that God says to, you know, David, I have been with you wheresoever you've gone. I have subdued all your enemies before you, but the last phrase is what I love. I have given you a great name, like the name of the great people that are in the earth. Now, in your process of thinking big, there is someone with a great name that you want to be like in the world. You know, it's, it's, it's in your heart, it's how you think that makes you feel like, oh my goodness, my ministry, be like this person, this is, this is the person I want to be like. But in your presence of thinking big, if you are in this environment and you limit yourself to, you know, to the height of the environment, you'll be limited like, like that for a long time in your life. There is something called uh, not enough, it's not for you. There's something called just enough. It's not still for you. There's something called more than enough. Maybe that's it for you. For me, I've moved the scale higher to asking for much more, much more than enough. See, there is no height in life you can get to. There is no depth in life you can get to. There is no, but nobody has a monopoly of greatness. It is open for everyone. We are all limited by the way we think. So if you start changing your thinking, you start attracting greatness to yourself. You see, we are attractive to the thing we are thinking in our minds. So will you please change your thinking? It's very important. Sometimes you have a ministration and they ask you, what can we prepare for you? What kind of food? I hear that a lot when I travel out. And people will like, no, I'm not like those people that will be asking for. There's something special. I'm not special. You tell people that and they know that indeed you are not special. <laughs> but do you know what? You can change your mind and say, come to think of it, I'm special. I'm God's, you know, I'm God's creation. I'm, I'm anointed. You understand? I am endowed. The hand of God is upon my life. You are not going to operate in pride, but you are going to operate in the knowledge of who you are. And you are going to let the world know that this is who you are. And they, they can applaud you for who God has made you to be. So next time when you are making um, when you are making a demand, I, I don't want to use the word demand, but when you have the opportunity to ask, can you please ask for big? And let me close by this. If you asking for big, then you know how to give big away. You can't be asking for big and be giving small away. So it's very important that you start thinking big. <laughs>